Hey guys, it's Monica. I thought I would share a couple of my favorite products that I have been using first quarter of 2019, basically. These are the products that I reach for over and over again that I've replaced in most cases when they've been empty and I just love them. And also, I'm going to perhaps just touch the tip of the iceberg when it comes to some of my skincare because I don't want to get into a, my favorite skincare video. That would be separate, but I, I just want to touch the, you know, touch on the things that are some of my true favorites. So I am going to actually start a little bit with skincare. In my previous videos, I've talked about my Retin-A and dealing with the flakes and, and all of that stuff and how to manage it. And I, you know, I think I might have mentioned that some of my favorite products, for example, my toner. Not everyone can use a glycolic toner, but this is my favorite out of all the toners that I use. This is my favorite toner. I use this over and over again. I have, I don't know, maybe this is my third, perhaps even fourth bottle of this since I've been starting to use this. So, and I think I started to use this probably the beginning of 2017. I've been using it for a long time. I really, really like it. It's from The Ordinary. It's glycolic acid. I probably use this most mornings at one point. My skin is very acclimated to it. You know what I mean? It's not sensitive to it at all. I find that this really helps with managing my flakes. So that is my toner of choice. I also have creams that I really like. And this is not going to be a surprise to a lot of you. At night and sometimes even in the morning, I use my Lanacombe and this is the Bee Venom face mask. This is the one I have gotten at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's extremely inexpensive. This one is almost empty. I have a couple of backups. It's hard to find. This is what I will use at night more times than not. This might be the last step to my evening skincare. When I say more times than not, I mix it up a lot. I think your skin can grow accustomed to things, so I think it's a good thing to really mix up what you're doing. And a recent addition is the Honey Skin. Now, I can't use the Honey Skin all over my face. It is very, very rich. This, and I have got a good dent in here, a good dent in here. This, this is something that um, Sheila, Life with Lily, had talked about repeatedly. And one day I said, I'm going to order it. And I did. And um, I really, really like it. And I use this particularly on parts of my face that is super, super, super dry or flaky. And not during the day, usually kind of at night. I also use this on my elbows or my other parts of my body that I might want a little bit more moisture. I, I really, really do like that a lot. My morning, you know, typically the glycolic acid. I also very frequently will use the Studio 35 Alpha Hydroxy face cream. This morning, I'm filming this on Sunday. I put this all over my skin this morning. I when I rinsed it off, I probably left it on maybe a good 40 minutes or so. And again, how long I leave it on really depends on what's happening, what day it is, what's my schedule like. When I rinsed it off, I, my skin felt really good. I washed it off really good. And then I put a lovely, rich, moisturizing face mask on my skin for another 20 minutes. It's Sunday. I didn't have an agenda. So I do a lot of face masks. I like the sheet masks. I don't like any of the other thick, peely offy ones. I like the sheet masks. And I like the moisturizing one. The one that I really like a lot is one that I actually got from City Beauty. They have a hydrating mask. I didn't bring it in here to show you. But oh my gosh, guys, when I put that on, that is like heavenly. I mean, I absolutely love that mask. So I do that a lot. Now, my eye cream of choice lately, and I've only been using this for a few weeks, so I, ha I hesitate to call it a favorite. But uh, And also, this was sent to me for review. I've already talked about it in a previous video, but I'll make that clear. I didn't buy this. This was sent to me via the Octoly Network from Saturday Skin for review, which I've already done. But I really like this. I think this is a brightening and it is a very nice, rich eye cream that is light enough to play nice over 
and under my makeup. So I was using the Timeless Eye Serum, the eye cream from Timeless. I was using that for a long, long time. I ran out and I said, I want to try something else. I saw this on the Octoly Network. I said, I'm going to give this a try. It had great reviews. So I ordered it and I've been using it ever since it arrived and I like it a lot. I still have a lot long ways to go on it, but I like it a lot. So I think that is really, really nice. And I happen to like sun, you know, Saturday Skin a lot. I have some of their other products that I've used and I like their peeling gel a lot. I use that over and over again. Um, I also use the, the, the Maison Apple peeling gel. I use a number of different peeling gels. So there's, there's a ton of them on the market and it's like a, a gommage in a way or a, just to remove some of the dead skin and I really, really like that. I think I had mentioned that I was using a Retin-A with Hydroquinone in it and this one that I buy is, and I'll link everything below, is Trillium. I don't know if I'm spelling saying that right, T-R-I-L-U-M-A. And it is actually 4% hydroquinone with tretinoin, 0.05%. And I've been using this, I don't know how long now, I think it's since February something like that, February. I have an age spot here and I have like a cluster of brown age spots here. And these are the two areas that I've been treating with this. And I tell you, this is really, I've seen a lightening of the age spots with this in the short period of time that I've been using this. I buy this from Reliable RX Pharmacy. My sister actually uh, gave me that one. But from Reliable RX Pharmacy, I think it's like $33 not on sale for that size tube. And I really like it. When I place another order from Reliable, I'm going to reorder that without a doubt. I don't use it every night. It's very, very strong. So I think that's really all on my skincare. On makeup, and I'm a, I'm, I'm a person of habit. Makeup is really, it's kind of hard for me, you know, foundation. Um, when I peel, and I've already done a video on that, you know, I, I peel and my skin is in a constant state of turning over. But my foundation that I, that I most days use is the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate. I've gotten, several of these. I really like this. This is a good shade for me. I use it over and over again. So this is definitely one of my top foundations for every day. And for, you know, special occasions and when my skin's doing good, it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear. These are my two favorite foundations. I absolutely love them both. And the only way I can apply most of my foundation is with a damp sponge. This happens to be the one I got from Sigma. It's a little dirty because I used it today. But, um, and what I do is I pounce and then under my eyes, I will tap on some brightening, you know, serum or something. I typically use the Essence. This is a color corrector brightener. This is in peach or pink. I use this and I will dab this all around underneath my eyes. Just dab it in. I won't rub it in, just dab it on there. And then I take this dampen and I just pat it. And, you know, just to give me more of a brightness underneath that area. I like this a lot. This is probably my favorite color correcting um, that I have. So in its essence, and it's pretty, pretty reasonable. I think it's like three bucks. <laughs> I mean, it's really, really reasonable. I've been doing and using a lot of primers. I have a basket full of primers. And I keep saying I'm going to do a video just on primers and talk about it. But then I go boring but anyways my primer of choice and I have two that I like it all depends on the condition of my skin and they're from one extreme to the other I happen to like the elf poreless primer this one works really really nice I usually put it on my nose and I can immediately see the pores being filled in and smooth canvas on top this is moisturizing in the sense that it's more of a glowy primer where this is my Becca and this is the velvet blurring primer they do the same thing except the Becca is more drying so when I'm peeling no way am I going on this I'm going to be using this if any kind of a primer at all but in a normal state if I was going out and my skin was normal the Becker is the one I would grab I really like that I I think I've had that for I thought gosh about a year maybe I'm not too sure now how long I've had it and then I also use a setting spray I wish I could tell you where I got this one but this is project beauty 
it's spray set and go I am almost out of this I really like this I have to figure out where I got this and replace it because out of all my setting sprays I really like this one the best really really nice on me and um, my blush still is and I've used many different blushes this is well-worn blush this is an Avon I think it's something mauve or plum basics or something like that it's worn off I've had this forever I this is my favorite blush this is my favorite color on my blush I really like it a lot I don't use a lot of powders on my face because I'm worried about them drying. There are a couple of powders I have used and I have talked about it. One is the the Essence Banana Powder Brighten Up. Now, I've used this so often that the, I broke it. I really like this. This is just a very finely milled little brightening that I might put on my eyes. I really like it a lot. It, it works really well i have to be very careful with powder because most powders will accent and highlight every wrinkle you have and then when i just want a little bit of a glow i actually like this pure nude space lighter from essence so i just take a little tiny bit of it and i might dab it i have no idea what i'm doing but i might dab it on my cheekbones a little bit and um and and that's about it you know that's about it for powders i did get recently this one from sigma I've only used it, uh, so which is why it's not one of my favorites yet, because I've only used it a couple of times. It's really nice. It's sort of a tinted, finely milled, just a little bit of a tint of a powder, and it looks really, really nice. I like it a lot, because here I am looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> but I like that a lot. I also use a, you've heard me mention many times that I have veins and that I'm on a, um, you know, one day I'll have them zapped and I won't have an issue with them anymore, but I still continue out of all of the concealers that I've tried and found, I still have to tell you that the, my favorite, my favorite out of all of them is going to still be the Benefit Boeing. Number two is the shade that I have in this one. I, I just... It just works really well. Number two is a great shade for me. I also have number three, which is slightly darker. This is my favorite. I will buy this again and again and again. Number two is, is the is the best, best color for me. I also have one for under my eyes. And I think it was Carol from the O'Carroll Show that first talked about this, or I heard about it on her channel. And this is number one. So this is a little bit lighter, and it's also very, very rich. It's almost got like a little bit of a serum inside of it. So it's, it's a moisturizing. And if you need to touch up under your eyes, someplace that prones to be dry, this is what I use. So, I, and this is, the, this is in the shade number one. This is from Benefit, this is the Boeing, this is the stick. And this is in shade number one, very, very light, but that's what I really like. I really like that a lot. And then lipstick, I mentioned this before. This was also a cho this was a total surprise to me. This was sent to me via the Octoline Network, actually from Becca. And this is in the shade Orchid. I really like it. I am surprised how much I like this. This is the one high-end lipstick color that has spoiled me for every other lipstick color so far. All of my drugstore lipsticks, and I have quite a few, they all pale compared to this. And when I first put this on, I said, no, too dark, don't like it, don't like it. I wore it all day. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. I still use, and I have many lip glosses and plumping serums and all of that. I have City Beauty, I have Lancome, I have a whole bunch of plumping serums and lip glosses. The two lip glosses plumping serum combinations that I still go to is going to be my Buxom. I love the Buxom. The, um, this one is almost all gone. Oh, and I really, this is White Russian. So I have the two of them, I think it's Pink Cadillac, White Russian, and then I also have Hard Candy. So these are the ones that I go to out of all of them day in and day out i'm grabbing both of these and they they live in my pocketbook for sure the um 
the other few things that I just want to mention, my eyelash primer. I am just totally, totally in love with the Essence Volume Booster Base Primer. Totally in love with it. I've tried the L'Oreal, I've tried the Lancome, I've tried the Pure, I've tried a few other primers. I can't even remember the names of them. I have so many primers I've tried. For the money, dollar for dollar, this beats them all if you like an eyelash primer. I love this. I use this every day and I have a backup and probably a backup. That's how much I really like that. The My favorite eyeliners and pencils continue to be the Urban Decay, you can see. And I was lucky enough, I have I got one as a gift for my birthday from Marlene Fab and Glam. But you can see the ones that I'm using, the brown and the black are almost like down to the stubbies. I'm trying to get every last bit of it out. And also for a glow thing, I have many different um, shadows and stuff that give me a pop of color, a pop. but I still go back to this particular one. It's a Scandal Eye of Rimmel, and I can't remember the shade, but it's just a really pretty pop of pink. That's the one that's in my handbag. It's in my makeup bag. It's the one I really like a lot. I, I just really like it. My brushes, and this is my Sigma. And this is the Sigma E45. I never ever realized how nice a good brush was. This is perfect for me for crease work. Perfect. Perfect. I use this for all my crease work. I just love how, I mean, I just love it. It's, it's dense yet soft and just I just have a lot of control with it. I really like it. And then the Kabuki, this is the short Kabuki from Sigma as well. When I, when my skin is in the condition to be buffed with a brush, this is what I use and I absolutely love it. Of course, my skin is not always in that condition. The two other things I want to mention is eyeshadows. I always get this question. I have created a, a um, Z palette this is the one from Ulta. You can just buy it. I think the one from Sora is, Sephora is a little thicker, so I'm going to look at that one. But this is the one I've been using. And I have put three of my Viseart palettes in here. The I think this was the Cashmere. This is the Amethyst. And this is the one I got from Molly and Fab and Glam. This is like the dark, bold. I can't remember the name of it. But these are those palettes are in here. And then I have the Sydney Grace. I have four Sydney Grace palettes, um, tubes, tubs, things. And then I have Makeup Geek. And then this here, this little corner one, is the Cream Brulee. This is Wet n Wild. I just tore the cover off and I put it in here because I like that for an all over, all over base on my eyes. So I, this is the palette I took with me along with this palette when I went to Vegas. This is the Huda, Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. I got this as a birthday gift as well and I hope you can see how well used it is. I actually have this on today. So I have all this shadow and this. So that's all I have on my eyes today. And I really, really like those palettes. So I like a palette that I can build up. If, if the colors, like if they're really pigmented, like the Sydney, the Sydney Grace is very, very pigmented. I have a hard time when I first put it on. I have to go extremely light because those colors are intense. I prefer colors I can build up. So I'm working my way through these to, you know, use mostly in, in the outer edges and where I really, really want it to be dark. I know these are no fail, no fail as far as that's concerned. On a personal note, I love, and I think it was Tammy from Tammy's Ageless Beauty, AKA Uppies Beads, used to be Uppies Beads that first mentioned this. I don't know how long ago in one of her videos. I think it was probably in one of her empties. And it's Sweet Spot. I went and I bought this. This lives in my shower. I have several backups. I went and I bought this. I don't know whether I got it from Amazon or Target, but I've ordered it and bought it over and over again. This happens to be in the Vanilla Blossoms. I really like this. I also have the wipes. So I really, really like these. I just think I, they make you feel fresh. I just really like these two products. They are my favorites. They are my go-to. They are something that I'm just going to continue to use and use and use. The other thing that I'm going to continue to use is this is called, well, it's actually called a pu -pure, 
poopery, poopery, poopery. <laughs> um, and this one is, oh my goodness, shh, it happens. So, I, you know, most of you know we work full time, and when you work, when you work full time and you're outside the home, you gotta go, you gotta go. I love this stuff. I just ordered more poopery from Amazon, different brand, but same idea. What you do is you spray the toilet, <laughs> the toilet. And I mean, I have this in the office, I have it in my computer bag, and then I'm gonna have one in the motor home, I'm gonna have one at home. I love this stuff. But you spray the toilet, you know, a couple of, I just do like maybe three, four squirts of it, and then you, you do your thing, you know? And then, it doesn't matter. You can be doing your thing and people can be walking around in the in the restroom, in a public restaurant, and it, it, it smells really nice. I mean, it really does. Nobody would know you were doing your thing. It's <laughs> that you flush and it's gone. It's like, uh, this is definitely, definitely a favorite. I think I'm blushing. A definite favorite. The other thing, aside from my, and I was going to talk about face oils, but then I said, nah, I'm going to get really into too, too much detail. I can do another updated video on oils and stuff like that, but I really, really, really have some favorites on my oils for sure. Now, on a personal level, how many of you, do you guys ever listen to like audiobooks and podcasts and things of that nature? I don't even know if that's anything that might be of interest to anyone, but I'm an avid audiobook listener and podcast listener. I love, 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 love podcasts. So, in some of the podcasts that I listen to, I mean, this is going to sound a little bit kind of wacky, but I loved like the true crime. So, I listen to one of my favorites is Criminology. I listen to Missing Amara Murray. Um, I just listen to a whole lot of podcasts. And when you when you subscribe to a podcast like Criminology or Crawl Space or any of the ones that I really, really like, then it, when you subscribe to them, you'll get notified when they have an updated episode. And so I absolutely really love, love listening to podcasts like that. I also listen to YouTube podcasts, YouTube Power Hour, uh, uh, YouTube creators, you know, I listen to a whole lot of podcasts like that. And also, Stephanie Farrell Focus here on YouTube has a, a podcast that she does all about YouTube creators as well. I'll link that below because she has interviewed me as well as some of the other ladies in our community. And so it's really, really awesome. But podcasts and audiobooks. So my audiobooks, I really love the suspense, the thrillers, the psychological thrillers. Do any of you ever listen to audiobooks? And if you do, would you mind letting me know in the comments below what your favorite book is or your favorite podcast? Because I'm always looking for new books to add and podcasts. I do a lot of driving, so I like to do a lot of listening when I'm driving and uh, or walking, especially now that summer is going to be rapidly approaching. I'm going to be walking with my you know head, headphones on and walking the trails and stuff like that on the be beach. And I could just use a whole a whole selection of new books and, and things of that nature to listen to. So I know this is probably long. I can go on and on because there's a couple of other things that I did want to mention. Yeah, lots of stuff going on. So thank you so much if you stay to the end. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to thumbs up the video and leave me a comment and let me know what is your favorite audiobooks or podcasts. What are you listening to if you listen to audiobooks or what book are you reading? I'd love to know. Bye guys.